princess, and the stable boy. This romantic tale of long ago is not for the faint of heart, but only for those who can comprehend the violent beauty of this incredible adventure. This is the long lost story of two heroic Barbie dolls. Not those ones. No, not even the one who so happily eats his margarine sandwiches. the unlikely match of two strange and beautiful plastic mannequins, whose deep affection, once an outrage, spiraled into the hands of another. An evil sorceress. Whose cunning plot changed their lives forever. You know, my queen, I think I just might be the greatest of them all. Hmm, yes. Yes, I think that. And what about me? Well, uh, um, yes. You're probably somewhere around the third, no fourth, no third, well, somewhere around Pardon there. Pardon me? Yeah. I'm a queen, mister. Oh, of course, dear. You're the second greatest, of course. Should have known. That's much, much, much better. But I, naturally, am the greatest of them all. I am strong, I am mighty, I am fearless. And I'm simply beautiful, gorgeous, lovely, ravishing, glamorous. I am them all. Yes, that's me. Yeah, yeah, we know that already, but I am not only handsome and powerful, but I also happen to be rippling with muscles. I'm totally buff. <laughs> really? Of course, I can take down anyone Anyone! I can even beat that filthy stable boy over there. Did you dare call me filthy? Whoa! <laughs> Did I dare call you filthy? <coughs> 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 yep, he's filthy, all right. Oh! <coughs> Ow! <coughs> 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 Cut his head off immediately for his impudence. <coughs> no need, I can beat him up any day, anyways. Yes, you mm. are quite muscular and are bursting with health. Mm. Oh, I certainly am. The hobble of you is a gnome. Over here to say hi. Oh, Prince yeah. Charming, what an honor, what a pleasure. I assume um, you are here to see our lovely daughter Gloria and um, <coughs> your marriage. <laughs> um, ma'am, what are you talking about? Um, don't be shy, luscious young Gloria. Come and greet Prince Charming like a good girl, why don't you? Mom, don't do this, you're ruining my social lifelines. <coughs> what? My social lifelines hang by mere threads. I do not want to be your daughter. It's embarrassing, okay? And I'm not marrying that pig. Sorry, she's not my mother. She's um a distant relative. <laughs> Very distant. I mean, super duper distant relative. <laughs> okay. Um, I sort of need to go now. Um, I have a date with my stable. Bo I mean, I mean my pony. Yes, a date with my pony. Lovely. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm, I better be going now. Oh, look at the time. Look at that. Oh, oh what a beautiful evening. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going now.
Ooh, that was a sneeze. Sorry. Yeah. Dad! Gross! Oh, God! Oh, gosh! Ugh! Huh. She doesn't, she just doesn't like this, I swear. Oh, uh, my apologies, Prince Charming. Um, she's in a very strange mood at the moment. So. Well, I guess we must acquaint at later times. Thank you for inviting me, and I hope to marry the princess someday. Thanks, bye. Oh, he's so dreamy. What are you doing staring after royalty like him? Return to your work at once, you bag of scum. Yes, ma'am, sorry, ma'am. The <laughs> nerve of that girl. Oh, so rude. <laughs> I do love him ever so much, my fairy Gloria. I love you too, stable boy. I do wish it was legal for me to love you. <laughs> Your parents obviously don't approve of me, like at all. Yeah, personally I prefer that. Like, what parent would approve of a filthy schmuck like you? <laughs> the idiots, they haven't even guessed I love you, let alone the fact that I plan to marry you soon. <laughs> oh, what? Yes, the idiots. <laughs> Hold it! Did you just call me a filthy schmuck? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, is there a problem? What? Oh no, just, just wondering. I, I meant no offense, you know that, right? Oh yes, of course. I love you. My parents, they hope will marry Prince Charming. Oh, you have to bring it up now, do you? They are seen considered- Well, I'm sorry for asking for your opinion! Alright, my apologies. I just really hate that guy. He reminds me of an old elephant used to hate for company when you're angry at me. You know what happened to him? No, actually. You never really got to tell me about mine. Well, <laughs> you'll never guess. <coughs> so what happened? Well, you have to guess, of course. Here, I'll give you a hint. It's something to do with those time capsules, a portal, and three pieces of cheese. Oh, and my bright red lipstick they gave me for Christmas. Yes, that too. Oh, you gave it away! I wouldn't bother guessing now that I know what happened. What does he do when it flew through that wall and exposed polystyrene? Does he explode with dust? Oh, well, that's where the cheese comes in. Oh, well, I knew that. <laughs> what am I gonna do about Prince Jeremy? <laughs> you got rid of him the same way you got rid of that old elephant. Well, I couldn't do that to a strikingly attractive young man like him. That's horrible. How dare you? Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I used all the time capsules up on the last one. What prince? Oh, uh, you know, the one that used to always kiss me. Um, Tell me. Now. Oh, well, look at the time. It's it's getting pretty early. Almost two o'clock. I'd better be going up to the palace now. Mum will be wondering where I am. And I, I, I told her I was going down to the stables to see my pony, but you know how she is, always wondering if I'm blind. <laughs> I don't know why she'd think that, though. She's so unconsiderate sometimes. I can't believe her. Anyway, you got anything planned for tomorrow? Um, I don't, so it's going to be pretty boring. As a matter of fact, I do. Really? What are you going to be doing? Um, I... I would like to go along if you're going you're anywhere. Coming. Oh, well, I was just thinking of fulfilling my lifetime wish to sail the seas tomorrow morning. Hey, they don't laugh. I'll be sailing for miles across the Noma Spain's sparkling blue ocean. All tarred down many of the unscovered islands on my seismograph band when this is started with my sharpest toothpicks. Hunting down that ferocious kelp 12,000 kilometers deep. And most dangerous of all, struggling to survive those savage hordes of seaweed as they reach their poisonous spikes to pull at my toes. I'll be back by around tomorrow morning around 6.24. Oh yeah, well, so you can just bake some cookies while I'm gone. It'd be nice of you. Hey, Steven. Love you. <laughs> Unfortunately, things would not proceed as planned. Little did Stable Boy know of the dangers his beloved princess would soon be 